Happy Kids TV. The Holy Tales. What's the matter? Looks like someone has had a fight. Yes, Tubby and Freckles are fighting since morning. Tubby here took away my last piece of chocolate. He is so mean and selfish that he did not even ask me. I am never going to talk to him. Why do I have to ask you? Your name wasn't written on the chocolate. It was just kept there, so I ate it. I don't even want to look at his face. I am going. Wait, Freckles. Come. I'll tell you children a story about two brothers. That will lift up your moods. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers, George and Harry. Their father was the owner of a very large farm. But now he was too old to work on his farm. So, one day, he called his two sons and said, Sons, I am old and sick. I cannot work on this huge land anymore. So, I will divide the farm into half and give each one of you half. I know both of you will work together and take care of one another. Soon, the brothers started working together. At first, they were best friends and shared everything together. Then one day, suddenly, they had a fallout over a huge argument and they stopped speaking to one another. Years went by and both the brothers did not speak a word to one another. One day, a carpenter came to George's house asking for some work. Sir, can you provide some work for me, please? Is there any work that I can do for you? George thought for a while and said, Yes, there's something I can give you to work on. I want you to build a fence on my property near the stream, which will separate my farm from Harry's. Build a high fence so that I do not have to see him anymore. I'm leaving for town now and I want to see the work done once I am back in the evening. That evening, when George came back from the town, he was shocked to see that the carpenter had not followed any of his instructions. Instead of building a high fence, he had built a bridge over the stream. Angry, George walked down the bridge to take a look at it when he saw his brother Harry walking towards him from the other side. Harry was very happy to see that his brother had built a bridge between the two of them. He did not know it was otherwise. Harry said, I cannot believe you built a bridge to welcome me back, even after all the terrible things I've done to you. Harry reached out for George and gave him a tight hug. George was very happy too. He was pleased with the carpenter that he had managed to bridge the gap between him and his brother. Later, when George went to thank the carpenter, he was nowhere to be found. George realized it was God who had sent the carpenter to bring both the brothers together. I am sorry, Tubby. I shouldn't have been so rude. Now I understand my mistake. I am sorry too, Freckles. I should have asked you first before eating. Phew! Thank you, Holy, for bringing these two friends of mine back together. You are like the carpenter. I hope you have understood the story and the importance of living happily together. Yes, we have. I love my friends and we all live happily together. To watch more videos, please subscribe. Trees.
On the fourth day, God created the sun to shine in the day, the moon and stars to come out at night. One day, Moses went to Mount Horeb with his sheep. There, God appeared to him as a flame of fire in a bush. Since there was no room anywhere else, they decided to spend the night in a stable. Here, Mary had her baby, Jesus. She wrapped him in a blanket and put him to sleep. He's got the home.